Good morning. Sun just coming up over the horizon. It's about 6:20 a.m. <clears throat> Monday morning, the 11th of June. I shot a oh, when we're in the beam yard in North Texas. There is a plan in motion to do something with these beams. It's going to take about. 6,000 up front, but it's going to equate to about 30,000 and a lot of blood, sweat, and tears. But I'm tired of sitting these, these things sitting here rotting and turning to dust, which is an interesting dovetail into what we're going to talk about this morning. I shot a video uh, a few days ago called It's Amazing How Things Work. It was called a sense of purpose. A sense of purpose. Shot that Thursday of last week, I believe. I didn't like how it turned out. I listened to it and listened to it again over and over, and I didn't like the way it turned out. So, y'all haven't seen it because it's been deleted. And then I read James 1 Saturday morning. And the end of James 1 is a true and unadulterated religion or something to that effect is this. Visit widows and orphans in their need, right? Okay. And then <laughs> I post that video of my Shabbat morning reading and then Pastor Joe puts up a video called Do You Want to Make a Difference? There's been some interesting uh, concordance between myself and a few other people who all think the same and feel the same about what's coming. And I just, I don't believe in coincidence. i put it to you that way. I think that the father is really tapping people on the shoulder and saying, I need you, get ready. Prepare. What's that? Uh, who wrote that song? Michael W. Smith, Prepare Ye the Way of the Lord. Something like that. I was asked to play that at church one time on the drums. And the uh, worship leader came to me and he said, T, you're a really, really BA drummer. I want you to listen to this intro. It's two drummers at the same time. I know that you can you'll figure out a way to do it. So I listened to it, then I watched it on YouTube and realized that's not two drummers, it's three drummers. So, I learned the pattern of the first drummer with this hand only, and the pattern of the second drummer with this hand only, and then the pattern of the third drummer with my feet. Played. See, I have two bass drums and I have two feet, which means I can use them both kick drums, bass drums at the same time. So, <laughs> the point of that is, I was able to play that intro. Uh, I felt better than it was recorded, with a little bit more gusto than it was recorded. Uh, and I enjoyed that. That is not the point of this video. But it's very cool, uh, it was very cool bringing regularly a gigantic drum set that was purpose-built for playing metal to church every Sunday and uh, I, I do miss that but anyway right prepare you the way man I just everybody everybody I talk to lately and I'm not I'm talking about people of all kinds of different walks of life right and at all different phases in their spiritual walk, they're all saying the same thing. They all feel this and this. So, what is your purpose in life? What's your sense of purpose? Uh, I think it changes from, I think there are phases. 
Mine right now is to raise up my family in fear of the Lord, protect them, provide for them, love them, to establish a foothold in Oklahoma for when people come to me in need. And I think as I reach those long-term benchmarks, new targets will develop, and those targets will have to be hit as well. So my question to you is, not just what are you doing that you shouldn't be doing, because that's the question that a lot of people ask themselves. I really shouldn't be doing this, okay. A question that very few people do ask themselves is, what am I not doing that I should be doing? And what is your purpose in life? That depends on who you are. Our number one desire should be to bring glory to the Father every day. Our number two desire, <laughs> wow, that depends on who you are, doesn't it? I always think about uh, C.S. Lewis, the screw tape letters, that little demon with his fingers just embedded into the brain of that one character. I always thought that was such a great visual. Right, what's your number two desire? What's your hierarchy of needs? Maslow's hierarchy of needs, you should look that up. M-A-S-L-O-W apostrophe S, Maslow's hierarchy of needs. <sighs> what are you going to do with your life? If a bolt of lightning came crashing out of this guy, boom, right to the top of my head and dropped me like a sack of potatoes. Will I have been... What's the word? Would I approve of what I've done with my life thus far? The argument would be it doesn't matter if I approve it, it matters if the Father approves. Yes. But, you know, I've kind of been along for the ride on this thing. <laughs> um, so what is your sense of purpose? You know, there's, and I ask all this, and I'm bird walking here, so bear with me. I saw Pastor Joe's video, and, you know, he's, he's sitting there talking about these people in uh, Thailand. I'm thinking to myself, I personally know I'm on a first name basis with a guy that hunts child sex traffickers on the dark web. He uh, works for a, an alphabet soup agency. I am on a first name basis with uh, the people that run the actual door kicking operations in uh, Southeast Asia going into these locations where these children are and rescuing people from sex traffickers and arresting people um, sometimes those people get their tickets punched and I'm sorry I have no remorse <clears throat> and I am um, on an intimate first first name basis with a pair of missionaries that are working in that area of the world right now for the sole express purpose of rescuing people. That's what they do. They rescue people. And they are one of the few mission uh, missions that we support, Harmony and I support, because A, we don't have a ton of money uh, but, you know, you, you always have to give something back to God, right? And they're doing God's work. So, and <laughs> they're not trying to buy a 747 so that they can go preach the word either. You know what I mean? They're on a shoestring budget themselves. And I hesitate to uh, give their information out because I do not want to blow their cover. All of these people cannot have their cover blown.
but I've got to figure out a way to help them, to have you all help them. <laughs> right? But they, they, need, uh, they need a couple of cutouts. Some of y'all will understand that reference. Some of y'all won't, but they, they need a couple of cutouts. So I've got to figure that out because there are people that they wake up in the morning. They don't wonder what their, what their purpose in life is. They have a sense of purpose. They're making a difference. They're killing it. Uh, and not that it's not hard. I am. Um, there's a thin veneer, a thin facade over the deep emotions that I feel right now even talking about it. Because you're talking about some of the toughest men that you've ever met. Do log PT with those things all day. <laughs> Beat you into a bloody pulp. Put rounds on you from a thousand meters without thinking about it. Just breaking down in tears. From the evil that they've had to see. So. But as hard as that is. They know what their purpose is. So I would just encourage you to find yours. And I, <laughs> I have to say, if I've outright told these people, if I didn't have children of my own at home to worry about, man, you wouldn't see this mug for a while because I'd be over there shwacking bad guys. There's, I don't know if there's anything closer to my heart. I also don't know if emotionally I could do it. It's just a burden. And it's so, there's, there's four people on the planet that you can confess those sins to, the sins of doing the work to clean up that mess, right? Because you, it's, you can't talk about it, right? So I guess at least for me, uh, they can talk about it with me, so I can help in that way. But there's a part of me, boy, I could, if a little bird landed right there, said, "Come on." We need you in Cambodia for the next 90 days. <laughs> Sorry, boss. I'm out. So, all right. I got to go inside. But I want y'all to meditate on what your purpose is. And if you don't know what your purpose is, uh, I want you to write down the three biggest blessings in your life and your three biggest struggles in your daily life, two columns, blessings and curses, okay? I want you to pray over those two columns daily, daily. And the Father will reveal his purpose to you. The biggest, uh, one of the most dangerous prayers you can you can pray as Father reveal your will for my life to me because once you know that once he does, once he shines a light on it you can't undo that you're either in compliance or out of compliance with the Father's will for your life but there is nothing more rewarding than doing what God created you to do so there's your ear nugget for this morning. I'm going to go inside and beat up some of these 20-year-olds that work here. I'll talk to y'all later. Shalom.